Hey guys, and welcome back to the garden. Welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Blanca. So I know it's been a few days since I logged in, you guys, since I brought you a video, but it's been a little crazy at my house. I've got spring breakers over here. My kids are home from college. They've been here all week, keeping their mama busy. And I have not been able to come out here at all. Um, today's actually a very windy day, so I was hoping to fertilize this morning and you know, it's it's windy, so I can't do it. I just wanted to chime in and check in on you guys. Um, just, you know, maybe walk you around a little bit, say hi. This weekend is a really big weekend for um, orchid lovers. There's an orchid show at Fairchild that started today. I cannot go today because again, I've got spring breakers home. <laughs> and, um, but I will try to get there tomorrow um, and hopefully, um, like I said, tomorrow I'll be able to go and see you guys. I know I've gotten lots of messages to see if I'm going to be there. Um, so tomorrow, uh, we're trying to shoot for that. So if you're in the Miami area and you're visiting or you're, um, or you're local, Fairchild Orchid Festival is going on this weekend. Um, started today. It's going to go to about 4.30 p.m. And tomorrow, Sunday, again, from 9.30 to 4.30. So hope to see you guys there and hopefully... Um, I will also bring you a video um, from that event. I'm planning to go over uh, maybe with Nelson. I don't know yet, so we'll see. We'll see if we can make that work. Uh, so let's see what's going on, you guys. Like I said, it was super windy. I hope the wind is not bothering you. Um, but my Schomburgias, look at this. They take a long time to bloom. So uh, these flower spikes are going to grow really, really tall before you actually see flowers. <laughs> but they're on their way up. I mean... Probably a little bit over two feet already. Two feet long. Grammatophyllums get also super, super long and grow really fast. I mean, look at the spikes I just showed you last week. How much they've grown. That's that third one that was hiding from me. It's gotten really big. Look at that one. Um, so yeah, like I mentioned to you guys, the grammatophyllums I've never watered um, because they just have such thick bulbs that any water they get they'll just store it in there forever and they're like i like you see them here in full sun and look at those champagne spikes all right so last video um i expressed my concerns about growing outdoors and you know the damage that was caused over there in my orchid section um i am going to continue to grow outdoors you guys um this is like me this is my channel this is how i grow my orchids um outdoors in the wild um in the wild like i say like if they're really in the wild outdoors in the garden um so i am going to continue growing them out here i love to walk the garden and see the blooms and smell the blooms out here um so none of this is going to change the only thing that's going to change is that i do want to invest in getting like a small little green um either greenhouse or grow house wow i just noticed that um, greenhouse or grow house out here where I can put some orchids that are not thriving under my orchid section <gasps> wow so this one did ended up growing after all look at how beautiful so you see these are the reasons why I will never put them away inside a greenhouse because this brings me so much happiness just seeing them growing on my palms like this look at this Oh my gosh, look at this, she's so gorgeous. So even though this happened, you know, that day when I made that video, I was out here and I was so discouraged. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I was, you know, I was discouraged because I can't, I can't stand to come out here and see a beautiful orchid finally blooming and then the fronds um, just breaking them or, you know, damaging them. So I was a little bit, I was a little bit upset you know, I was, I was like, ah, I need to get myself a greenhouse. You know, my orchids are suffering, but then I see this and it brings me so much happiness. So for you guys that said like, you know, growing outdoors is so nice and you're able to do it. You know, I am going to continue doing it, you guys, because there's nothing that brings me more joy than seeing my orchids, you know, blooming on my palms. I mean, that's, that's, that's the truth. Um, so with that being said, nothing is going to change and I'm just going to shift. I'm going to come back to that one because it is just so beautiful. Nothing's gonna change. Everything is gonna still be the same, but I'm gonna take away and try to create a little area um, where, and I need to get back to that orchid, I can't forget. Try to create a little area where, for example, the orchids under here that I know are suffering, which are not my vandas, yeah, they don't bloom as much. 
um, because I think they get a little bit too much shade under here, um, but they do okay. Um, I might shift them and move them um, just so they can get a little bit more sun, but I'm gonna show you the orchids that are not thriving for me under here. And look at this one, this is my, my Vanda Morellii. Where's her tag? There you go. This is a Varicone Morellii. So um, I do know that Nelson has the species of this one, just the Morellii. I've got the hybrid and I wanted to um, tell you guys that the hybrid smells amazing. Oh my gosh, so, so good. So I'm not sure if it's a Varicone. See, see these, this is the, um, this is what they call the Vanda Carmela, which is a Varicone with Morellii. So I'm not sure if it's the Varicone part of of the um that of that parent that smells but she smells amazing because nelson says that his doesn't smell but mine does and she's actually on the way out and she's still very fragrant um normally when she's brand new she's like so 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 red it's like red and waxy and gorgeous all right so let me show you really quick um what i'm talking about <laughs> but before i do don't mind me showing you this beautiful hoya look at that so my hoyas love it under here look at that just gorgeous gorgeous flowers oh my gosh it smells amazing isn't that pretty so my hoyas love it under here my dendrobiums love it under here i mean my anusmums are blooming um all the orchids that i got from smiling are blooming are, wow i said that really wrong are blooming <laughs> are blooming look at this one this is um the first flower that opens on oh my god i love this orchid you guys this is the dendrobium amethysta blossom and i smell the anusmums i was like oh and she smells good too but no, that's the anusmum look at how pretty these flowers are they're just starting to open So, so, so pretty. So Smiley is going to be there at Fairchild tomorrow. And I, I am very, very excited to see what she's going to, what she's going to have. But look at those little pom-poms, how cute. All right. So now the ones that don't do well are the, are, are the orchids that have the big leaves. See how much wind? So my Sologenes, look at this. You see, they're just not liking to be under here. So these I'm gonna eventually move. I don't wanna put them under my terrace. I wanna build something for them, like I had said, like a little shade house or greenhouse. And then my nun's orchid is doing terrible. I don't think she likes to be under here either. So any any orchids that have um, that have these big leaves, there's my phylogeny again. Um, I don't think that they just like all the, all the water that they're constantly getting. So those are the ones that I'm gonna move. Um, for those that were scared that I was gonna like get rid of this like that will never ever happen <laughs> i just love my orchid section um but you know i grow outdoors so everything you know gets a little bit of a beating out here which is why i need to get something something to put my more delicate ones um hopefully on that side i've got a flower spike over here that looks a little dry so you guys, I may have to treat for thrips. I haven't really done much this week. Like I said, my kids are home and it's just been like nonstop. And you know, I'm also getting really, really busy with my candles. So that's um, that's also taking a lot of my time. Yeah, see something's going on with this flower spike. I need to probably um, get out here and spray. And can't wait to see the blooms on this guy um so i got this one uh when i went to boca and i did not think i was gonna get flowers i mean even 10 was like oh you know those spikes look like they're not going to um going to bloom and look it's starting to now i just posted um in my my orchid instagram my orchid lover instagram um the flyer for cruel smith so i will be going to cruel smith august um august whoa april 15th 16th and 17th i mean i'm not going to be there sunday because sunday's easter uh but i will be there friday and saturday for anybody that wants to take the trip to apopka 
Um, I will be going to Crow Smith. They're having a spring event. Lots of vendors. I was surprised to see the, the list of vendors. So lots of vendors um, are going to go. I'm going to be a vendor as well. And my buddies are coming with me. So if you want to, um, and you can travel to Apopka the weekend of April 15th. It's actually Easter weekend. Um, not the best weekend for me, but I'm going to make an effort and be there Friday and Saturday. Um, and and um, Nelson and Laz are going to join me and we're just going to have fun. It's going to be a nice time. So if you guys can make it out over there, um, that would be awesome. Um, but if you guys can make it out this Sunday to, um, to Fairchild, I will hopefully be attending. And just my Oncidiums. And this is my sweet sugar. My sweet sugar. You see, nothing like this I would ever put like inside a greenhouse or in a shade house. They look so, they, they do so well mounted that they're happy. So that's a sweet sugar. And, and this is another. This is another one. So these are awesome. I love the touch that they give it to my garden, this um, this yellow. I love that. You see? So super, super windy. Um, hopefully the wind the wind dies down a bit. So I can um I can treat for thrips because I can already see um I'm getting some some dried up some dried up um spikes and then I'm gonna bring you back to this beauty. Look at her, oh my gosh. Wow, it's just gorgeous, huh? So this is a Diviana hybrid. Look at the little pink on her lip. Let me, I'm gonna show you the tag. And she's growing like cooking. <laughs> they grow however they want on the trees. All right, so this is the, um, the golf green hair pig. And I got it a few years ago. And it's the second flower that I get. Beautiful. And they smell lemony and delicious. All right. On this side, let's see what's going on over here. My twinkles. Are blooming. And then my Pacific Water is called Pride. Has got two spikes. there pineapples getting bigger and then I've got more obsidiums and spike over here on this tree and let's just turn the corner ah, look at this one one little enough mom so this is oh no, I got I got a double spike on my sherry baby in there So my little Anasman Keiki is in bloom. She's little. There's another, another flower there. So. so that's it, you guys. Wanted to chime in. It's been a few days. Um, oh, I'm going to walk over here to my... Over here in this corner. It's been a few days, so I just um, wanted to say hi. <laughs> I'm still here. I'm just busy. Busy, busy, busy. Look how pretty this looks. I was telling my husband, I was like, I love the way that these orchids look inside. Let's see how windy it is. Oh. I love the way the orchids look inside um, the stag horn. So windy day here in South Florida. Um, hopefully you guys were able to hear me without all the wind, um, all, the microphone picking up all the wind. Look at all these nobodies growing, all these buds, all these nobodies over here. There you go, and there you go. So that's today's video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully I will see you tomorrow at Fairchild. Um, those are the plans. Hopefully my children will have... <laughs> 
we'll, we'll, we'll cooperate and then I can actually make that happen. No, but um, they will, they will. They, they, they do their own thing and, and I can probably um, just go tomorrow. I just like to spend time with them as much as I can before they go back to college, you know? Um, it's not their fault, it's my fault for being like, you know, wanting to be with them at all times. But anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Happy Saturday. And, and that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.